I'm Dan Raziano and I'm here with the Raspberry Pi. In my earlier video, I talked about the hardware and told you the components you need to get started. In this video, I'm going to show you the easiest way to install an operating system on the device. I'll be using the more expensive Raspberry Pi version B for $35, but the cheaper model also works with this method. You will need a USB mouse and keyboard, a monitor with an HDMI cable, either an Ethernet cable or a USB wireless adapter, a power supply capable of outputting at least 700 milliamps at 5 volts, and a 4 gigabyte class 4 SD card or better. I'm using a 16 gigabyte class 6 SD card from Transcend, an old Motorola smartphone charger, and a spare HDTV. My MacBook Air has an SD card slot, but if your computer doesn't, you will also need an SD card reader. Installing an operating system on the Raspberry Pi used to be a real pain, but it's now easier than ever before thanks to the Raspberry Pi Foundation's new out-of-box software, also known as Noobs. Head to raspberrypi.org, click the Downloads link, and download either the Noobs zip or torrent file. While that's downloading, you'll need to format your SD card. Remember, formatting will erase everything on the card. The easiest way to do this is to download the SD Card Association's official formatting tool, which is available for both Windows and OS X computers. Once the file is finished downloading, extract the noobs files to your freshly formatted SD card and safely eject it from your computer. Before touching the Raspberry Pi, it's best to touch a piece of metal to minimize the risk of damaging the device with an electrostatic discharge. Next, simply connect the HDMI cord, the mouse, the keyboard, the Ethernet cable, the SD card, and the power supply, at which point the device will boot up. Set your language and then choose the operating system you would like to install. I recommend trying Raspbian for your first boot. The process can take up to 20 minutes. Once it's done, click OK and the system will reboot. When it starts up again, choose option number 3 to boot directly to the desktop then choose the second option which reads desktop login user pi at the graphical desktop. Click finish and the system will reboot into the Raspbian desktop. If ever prompted for one, the username is pi and the password is raspberry. Inside the desktop you can browse the web or even download different games and programs from the pi store. I recommend trying Open Arena, a port of the 1999 hit game Quake 3. There are also pre-installed games which can be accessed by clicking the Debian games icon. Only one operating system can be installed at one time. If you ever run into problems, press and hold the shift button and the up arrow during boot to enter recovery. If you're new to programming, I recommend checking out the pre-installed app Scratch. Be on the lookout for more Raspberry Pi how-tos. Feel free to reach out to me on Twitter with suggestions and be sure to check out my article on howto.cnet.com for more information and the links you'll need to get the job done. I'm Dan Graziano for CNET. Thanks for watching.